Today's video is about property investing and what I've been doing over the last 20 years. Now before we start, I'd just like to add that this is not advice, this is information only. If you like today's video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Help me get the content out there. As I said, I've got 20 years experience of property investing. I started out as a very naive 19 year old and I wanted to be a property millionaire within the year. This didn't happen and unfortunately I've spent about 17 years as an average landlord, made loads of mistakes. I started out very optimistic, I started out with a few properties in my early 20s but after the 2008 financial crisis I ended up £50,000 in negative equity and this led to a negative decade. It led to me being negative about property, it led to me being negative about money and just negative in general. But a good thing is, this negative decade has led to a self-published book called The Dormant Landlord. And in this book, I go over all of my mistakes so that any potential investors can avoid my mistakes and learn from my lessons. It's split into two parts. Part one is all of my mistakes over 17 years. And part two is what I've been learning over the last few years. Part two is how to be more professional, how to do property investing properly. What I'm going to do in today's video, I'm going to read the introduction to the Dormant Landlord and if if you like the sound of the Dormant Landlord, check out the video description below and there'll be a link in there so you can go and buy it on Amazon. The Dormant Landlord introduction. The best advice I can offer is to focus on your property network. Whether you're about to start investing or have been investing a while, your network is massively important. Getting around other investors will help you to up your game. This took me 17 years as a landlord to realise. It's key to get around other investors if you want to be successful. They can motivate you and inspire you to be better and do more and to realise what's possible in the property game. Many training companies offer networking and property training. A few didn't suit me because of their aggressive sales pitch. Be aware. It's easy to get sucked in as they play on your emotions. Property training companies can offer excellent content, but there always seems to be an agenda to funnel you towards expensive training. If you go to a free property event, stand guard. Don't go there with your bank card and sign up for expensive training without giving it serious thought. This training can work and there are many examples of students who go out and smash it. Just be aware that there are also students who get into serious debt and don't get the results they are promised or sold. My little property journey will show you how not to do property investing. If you're not careful, being a landlord or investor can be difficult. Not being on top of your admin and legislation will make things difficult. Being organised, however, can and will make things much simpler and property investing can be relatively passive and straightforward. Personally, I've been on a bit of a roller coaster. In my early 20s, I had a small portfolio with £50,000 in equity. After the financial crisis of 2008, I ended up being £50,000 in negative equity. This hurt my ego and had more of an impact than I realised at the time. This led to 10 years of being negative about money. I was very negative about my little portfolio. But everyone likes a comeback. Thankfully, I can also demonstrate how to do property investing properly. This is due to a combination of knowledge and action. Knowledge from books, audibles, podcasts, training courses and networking with other investors. Learning is not enough on its own. You must put that knowledge into action. This isn't easy as self-doubt can kick in from time to time, but with a bit of time, you'll learn to give it a go. When done correctly, property investing can be powerful. It allows you to benefit from cash flow and potential capital appreciation. It can even make you financially free or financially independent. That's what we're going to cover. This book will show you how property can make you financially independent. It's not easy, but it is possible. Our mindset is going to be that anything is possible. Everyone is different. Some of us might only need £20,000 per annum to be financially independent. Some of us might need £100,000 per annum to be financially independent. We're going to head for the UK average salary of £30,000 per annum. Well, 29600 as of 2021. You'll get to £30,000 per annum with a solid foundation. Then you can go off and do your own thing. 
you can be more than happy with 30,000 or push on and go for 50,000 per annum or even 100,000 pound per annum. This book is designed to be a stepping stone for aspiring property investors and a useful guide for current investors looking to up their game. It's not about early retirement. Financially independent is the ability to choose. You work where you want and when you want. If there is some form of global crisis like COVID, you have a backup plan and are not just reliant on one source of income from work. We're going to get in a property and put the graft in. You might have some late nights. You'll probably spend some weekends doing some refurb work. There might even be some stress and tears, but it will be worth it as you work towards your own version of financially independent. It's going to be worth it because once you're up and running, you'll have the freedom you've been looking for. What I'm offering you is a lot of experience. 20 years of property experience will find its way onto these pages. You get all of my mistakes, lessons and advice on how to be a successful property investor. I will let you into everything I've got from my property journey and what I've learned from the experts. This book will be split into two parts. Part one will show you my many mistakes as an average landlord, the dormant landlord. You have my permission to have a good laugh at my expense, but I want you to learn the lessons and have a much smoother property journey than I've had to date. Most of the content will be found in part two. What I can 100% guarantee is that there is a lot of content for you to use to help you become a successful property investor. Over the last few years, I've pushed hard to up my game. The reason for writing this book is to help other investors or people thinking about becoming property investors. It is designed to be an easy read that you'll be able to consume in a few days so that you can quickly put that knowledge into action. So that's the introduction done for The Dormant Landlord. Now what I'm going to go over is what I would tell my 19 year old self if I could go back to avoid all the years, the 17 years of mistakes. I made mistakes when I made mistakes when I first started, which is understandable when you're a 19 year old or you're in your early 20s. But after the 2008 financial crisis, I made 10 years worth of mistakes. I was an average dormant landlord for 17 years and this is what I want anyone watching this video to avoid. If I could go back, I would tell my 19 year old self to get around other investors. And this is what I go over in The Dominant Landlord, the importance of your network. Now, recently I've started networking with PIN, Property Investor Network, and the property thing based in Darlington. And when you get around other investors, it helps you. It gives you that support you need. Now, this is something that I didn't do for 17 years my first 17 years as an average landlord, I'd done everything by myself and doing property by yourself can be lonely. It's hard. And if you get into a rut, if you make mistakes, you'll likely, from my experience, continue to make them mistakes. But if you're in a network, you're in a supportive group of other investors, they'll help you avoid some of their mistakes. So the first thing I would do when you're just starting out in property is get around other investors. I would also look at educating yourself, read some books, listen to podcasts, watch some YouTube videos, get educated and it will help you. It will help you learn how to do property investing properly. Don't do what I done. I didn't read any books. I didn't speak to any other investors. I just cracked on by myself. So get around other investors, get yourself educated. And in my opinion, I would start off with single lets. Buy one or two single lets to start with, and this can be your apprenticeship. So the first year you get one property. Manage it yourself. This is your apprenticeship. Collect the rent. Make sure all the legislation is correct. Now, a useful guide is the how to rent guide. This is a useful guide for landlords and tenants. It tells you what to do and what not to do. It helps you keep up to date with all the latest legislation. And this is a big one. Being legally compliant is massively important. And this, as you can imagine, wasn't always the case when I was an average landlord. There'd be times when I'd have boilers that weren't serviced, that didn't have a gas certificate. There'd be times when some of my properties weren't insured and this just wasn't good enough. Imagine one of my houses burned down when they weren't insured. I'd be left with a bill. I'd be left with the £100,000 build cost or whatever it was. 
make sure you're legally compliant. Property investing is powerful or can be powerful. Don't be that average landlord that I was for 17 years. Get around other investors, read some books and do it properly. Start off being a professional property investor, a professional landlord and push towards financial independence. It's massively important. Property is a genuine plan B and can be very powerful and help you in your 50s and 60s. This is what I'm trying to get across in this video. So yeah, if you're just starting out in property investing, don't be an average landlord for 10, 15, 20 years. Do it properly from the start. Get around other investors, read some books, get educated and do it properly. Get into property investing and push towards financial independence. That's about it for today's video. If you've liked today's video, hit the like and subscribe to the channel. Help me get it out there and check out the video description below for some useful links. You'll find a link for the Dormant Landlord and other property books that will help you in your property journey.